Hello and welcome friends. Today in this video, we are going to solve the most frequent problem we face while using Microsoft Word. In my perspective, this is the most important thing to understand if you use Word or want to learn MS Word for creating documents. I mean, many times it so happens that we are not happy with the space that is there between the lines in a paragraph or that the spacing between the paragraph itself is not as per our requirements or the alignment between the bullet points is somewhat not that great or looking great, right? So in this video, I have compiled everything that you need to understand to make such adjustments to create that perfect and beautifully formatted document. So let's get started with an understanding what is a paragraph. I mean, me and you understands what is a paragraph, but how does word come to know that it's paragraph? So after writing certain amount of text, wherever you hit the enter key, word understands this as a paragraph. Now, this understanding of word is different from our understanding. So how do you see where are all those uh, uh, paragraph endings? So there is a hidden shortcut that MS Word has, which is control plus shift plus eight. This is a very cool shortcut to view the non-printed characters in a document. Characters like spaces, tabs, paragraph endings, which we cannot see or print. So I'll just show you what it does. I'll, I'm, I'm pressing control, shift and eight. Now look what has happened in the document. We are now able to see uh, all the hidden characters. So see uh, there in place of uh, blank spaces, there is a dot that is being inserted. And after every paragraph ending, you see this is the symbol inverted P. So here the paragraph ends and that is why you see a P. Now if I hit a backspace here, you see I don't see any such character here. But once I hit enter, I'm hitting enter. And then you see this character appears saying that it's a paragraph end. Now what formatting options do we have for paragraph? So the first thing is line spacing. Now for better clarity, let me just remove these uh, hidden characters. I'll press Ctrl Shift 8 again to remove this. Now line spacing. How do you adjust the line spacing between the lines of text? Line spacing simply means the space that is there between the first line and the second line and the third line and so on. So line between this uh, two consecutive lines, space between the two consecutive lines. Now you simply select the entire uh, paragraph, right click on the paragraph, go to paragraph and then here you can use these two options to change the spacing. Now, what are the options? Line spacing, when you select single, it means it creates one uh, single line of space between the consecutive lines. I'll press OK to show you what happens. You see, uh, there is a single line of space. And when you select 1.5 lines, it means it creates a space equal to 1.5 lines. And then another option, the next option that is there is double spacing, which creates a spacing equal to two lines. The other option that you have is at least. So this is uh, 12 points, which means uh, and in general, uh, as, as a rule, what you should follow is uh, if suppose your text size is, let's say 12 PT, it's uh, okay to use 12, 13 or 14 PT somewhere around that. That would be a good indicator. So this looks uh, decent. The next option is uh, exactly how much points of spacing do you want to set and then multiple. Multiple can be so if I'm saying 1.25 means I want 0.25 of extra space after my lines. So that is how you set the line spacing and then there is another shortcut to do that. Simply go to the home tab and in this paragraph you see this button click here and select the sizing as per your requirement or what pleases you. I generally follow 1.15 because the text appears just fine in that spacing. The second option is setting the paragraph spacing. Now you see uh, there is no paragraph spacing in this document. So I'll just enter Control shift 8 to show you where all I have inserted line breaks which means where all I have pressed the enter key. So control shift eight and here it goes. So you see here is a paragraph ending. Here is another paragraph ending. So I've written three paragraphs of text, but then I want to have some space between my paragraphs, which is not visible as of now. So what do I do? 
I simply go to the starting of this paragraph, right click, go to paragraph option and you see this option don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. When this button is checked, these two options become irrelevant. This option says not to add any space between paragraphs and that is the reason why I see no space between these paragraphs. So I'll simply uncheck this button and give a spacing of uh, before, uh, I'll give a spacing of 10 pt. And yes, before means the amount of space that you want before the paragraphs. That means just top of the paragraph and after specifies the spacing that you want after the paragraph ends. So let's see what happens. So 10 point of... Okay, sorry, that was my speaker. Uh, so here, as you see, uh, we entered the settings. 10 point of space is included in the top and 5 points of spacing is included after the paragraph now. Now let's make it 15 to see the change. Yes, so you see that is how you adjust paragraph spacing. Now let's come to the third aspect which is adjusting bullet spacings. So I'll again remove these uh, markers. I'll again press Control shift 8. All right. Now many times you might run in, into a situation that because of this one single word, this text is getting extended to the next line. So what do I do? You see there's a spacing here. Sorry. Uh, I'll again shift control shift 8. So this arrow mark uh, denotes the spacing which can be adjust, uh, adjusted. Right. I'll just remove it for the sake of clarity. So how do you adjust this space? So simply right click, go to paragraph. And now here there are uh, two things. You need to change the indentation. Left indentation means this This is uh, the space that is left after the margin to the start of the bullet point. And the hanging indent means the space that is there between the bullet point and the start of the text. So if you remove this 0.25 to 0.1, you can see the text will come closer to the bullet point. Let's press OK and see the change. You see, there is uh, 0.1 space only and you see the entire text is in a single line now. So I think this is great. Now if you want to increase the space, you simply make it 0.2, 0 0.3, make it 0.2 and you're back. And let's suppose uh, you want to shift the bullet itself to the left. If you feel that there's a lot of space on the left, you simply go to paragraph again and reduce the indentation, left indentation, and the bullet gets shifted. If you want the settings to be applied to all the three bullet points, you simply select all the bullet points, right click, go to paragraph, enter left indent as 0.2, hanging indent as 0.3 again, and hit OK. And you have uh, the bullets beautifully formatted. And yeah, one more thing uh, regarding the paragraph. So if you want to indent the first line of a paragraph, like in many conventional texts, there is some space uh, left uh, before you start the first line of a paragraph. So if you want to do that, just select the paragraph, right click, go on the paragraph option. And then here in the indentation, you select a first line indentation and 0.5, click OK. So the first line is indented by 0.5. Right. So that is all that I wanted to show you. If you like the video, please uh, 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 like the video. There's an option at, at the bottom and also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to continuously receive notifications when I keep posting my videos. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful.